Hey, my name is Stelix, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix FPS drops. So without wasting any of your time, let's get started. Alright, first of all, go to the top right corner, then open up Fortnite, and open up Settings. Now, go to Display, and find Rendering Mode. Make sure Rendering Mode says Performance Mode. It helps you with your FPS spikes. Believe me, please don't do Direct 11 or Direct 12. Please always go on Performance Mode. It helps a lot. And if you're experiencing issues and you're not on Performance Mode, that may be the reason why. Okay, now go to Frame Rate Limit. Now, I have a 60Hz monitor and some people say that I have to play on 60FPS because that's all I will be able to see and it will make your FPS way more stable. That's at least what some of my comments on my last video said. But personally, I already tested this on multiple PCs. If you play on 200 or even more FPS, even though your PC can't handle it, then your PC is going to try to use as much resources and as much power as it can that you would get stable FPS and you will get more FPS. You can leave it at 60 or whatever your monitor refresh rate is, but personally, I'm going to leave it 200, and I definitely recommend that you would also leave this at 200. Okay, now for the next step, all you got to do is open up Epic Games, go to your library, and find Fortnite. Then click these three dots right here, and click on Manage. Now on Installations, you want to find this folder icon right here. And just press on it now i will minimize epic games and put this at the center you don't have to do this but i'm just doing this that you could see better okay now go to fortnite game binaries win 64. okay now i want you to scroll all the way down until you see fortnite client win 64 shipping and just press on it and click on properties now you want to go to compatibility and where you see compatibility mode, just tick this icon right here. And now on settings, you want to disable full screen optimizations and press apply. By the way, it really doesn't matter what type of windows do you have. Like for example, Windows 10 or Windows 11, make sure this says Windows 8. Okay, now you want to press Windows S and it's going to open up the search menu. Now you want to write CMD and make sure it says run as administrator. And now we're going to type in a really simple command SFC slash scan now and just press enter. And now it's scanning if I have anything corrupted in my system. From experience, this helped me a lot, but it may not help for you. It depends how long have you been using your PC for. I have been using this for a long time, so it's definitely going to help me. But if you have a newer PC, it shouldn't help you that much. Okay, so while this is scanning, it's at 72% right now. I'm going to show you another step that helped me a lot. This is single-handedly, I think, the most important step that you could do to fix your FPS spikes. So listen up. You may already be using this, but just, just in case that you're not, please listen up. Okay, so your lag spikes may be caused by not enough power in your system. So what I recommend to do is write ultimate power plan right here. And now find the website how to geek and just press on it. Now scroll all the way down until you see power config and, and this file right here. Just copy it and now press control S, write power shell and make sure to run this as administrator. And all you got to do is just paste in this command and press enter. Now to find this ultimate performance mode, all you got to do is press Windows S and write edit power plan and just click on it now on the top where you see power options i want you to click on it and if you're balanced or you have any other plans please click ultimate performance this is the best power mode that you can use and trust me it's definitely a game changer for me and it should definitely help all of you but just in case this doesn't help you can always switch back to balance for some people balance works better but it's rarely the case and at least for me, ultimate performance helped a lot to me. Obviously, there's a lot of reasons why you could be having FPS spikes. One of those is that your storage is not cleaned up or is just full. So make sure to clean it regularly. What you could do is go to apps. And now all you got to do is just pick a drive, whichever you want. For example, C drive, 
and you want to just uninstall a program that you definitely do not need. Also, now I want you to press Ctrl, Alt, and Delete and go to your task manager. Now I want you to look at your CPU, memory, disk, and GPU, especially when you're playing Fortnite. If all of those are at 100 and you're not getting stable FPS, maybe something is the issue. Usually for some reason is usually power or you're playing on a really bad PC. For example, you have four gigabytes of RAM and that's absolutely horrible for playing Fortnite. So just in case, if you're still having lag spikes after this video, I do recommend you to invest in a bit of a better PC or check your internet because it may be caused by your internet, but it's really unlikely though. And you may be wondering, Stelix, that didn't help me just yet. What apps should I use to fix my FPS lag spikes? I especially created these slides just for you so on the first slide we see process lasso which is great for fixing fps lag spikes it boosts your fps lowers input delay and it can make your pc more stable next another app i kind of recommend that you would download is timer resolution and i mean it's a pretty good tool but it's not as good of a tool as process lasso process lasso i definitely recommend that you would give it a try but if process lasso doesn't work i would recommend that you would also download time resolution then i would recommend that you would download malwarebytes to check if you have any viruses that are making that you would get those lag spikes because sometimes you do have a virus and it can definitely affect your pc so just in case i do recommend that you would download malwarebytes or any other antivirus program and just check just in case maybe like once a month if you don't download anything shady and I also made a video on it too. The last tool I recommend that you would download is CCleaner. It's really good if you have too much storage and it can help you optimize your PC that you would get less lag spikes. So the main purpose of CCleaner is to delete temporary files that you definitely don't need that you could play with less FPS spikes. An important note that all of these apps that I mentioned so far aren't made specifically that you would get less lag spikes. It's just it has a few features that usually just boost your pc boost its performance and lowers other things that you do not need and it can help with lag spikes if you want there are a few videos on youtube that you can check you can check out my videos or you can check out other people's videos i recommend sticking with me because i always try to help you so I'm just telling you this just in case. I hope I was able to help you in this video. And if I did, please make sure to leave a like and comment down the method that helped you. If I didn't and you have more questions, make sure to also comment that down below. If you want to support me even further, you can use my support credit code, not Stelix, in the item shop. It really helps a lot. So thank you for already everyone who has been using that. It really supports me. So thank you. All right. I'm going to help you next time. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.